a call to a spiritual quarantine. Dear ones, I am the most reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugaru, Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, greeting you. These are challenging days in our lives, especially as we experience some pandemic diseases and calamities here and there, wherever you are. I want you to know this is a spiritual call for spiritual quarantine. Some people even wonder why we are given compulsory quarantine. Why people are forced to be in their homes. Why do we have limited movements? This reminds me of the words of prophet Isaiah chapter 26 verse 20. Go my people, enter your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide your souls for a little while until his wrath has passed by. Verse 21 says, See the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the blood shed on it. The earth will conceal its strains no longer. Dear ones, brothers and sisters, isn't this God-given quarantine so that people hide? So that people stay in their homes? So that people can wait for God's anger to pass? I think this is really God is making. You may be wondering, you may be complaining, you may be uh, uh, grumbling, but this is a call to spiritual quarantine so that God meets you, so that God speaks to you. This is the time people have been away from God, attending to sports, Arsenal. Man U, Chelsea, Liverpool. I am also a sports person. I support Arsenal. I support Uganda Cranes. I support Impindi Football Club. I support, you know, all these teams. I like sports because I was playing with the Nachivu boys. I think this is the time for me to be home. This is the time for you to be home. Many people go to sports. Many people... They go to attend the funerals and, you know, this is the time they go to, to check on their, their, their um, uh, graveyards, even on the day of worship. And this is when people will decide to go and have meetings and meetings on the day of worship. And God says, you must be in, the, in your homes. This is the time people have been, have been away drinking this is a time people have been away abandoning their families, abandoning their churches, sleeping in lodges and bars. God must be annoyed. God says, now enter your homes. To do what? To pray. To do what? To repent. To do what? To put our marriages right. Because you may be, we made our marriage vows many years ago, but some others have already abandoned them. This is a time to be home and repent. This is a time to be home and minister to our children. Probably you have taken many, many days, many weeks, many months without staying with your children. This is why the children are brought back home so that you minister to them, so that you talk to them, so that you know what your children think, so that you know what the firstborn thinks, the secondborn thinks, so that you know what your girl thinks. This is the time to be home. This is the time to love our children. This is the time to rethink. This is the time to refocus. This is the time to think about your will. 
<laughs> I'm talking about your will. Because one day you will die, kindly by force. This is the time to think about your family. That's why we have now home church. Home church is important and needed so badly. This is where technology is very key today. For Facebook, for Twitter, for live streaming, for televising, etc. Please listen to God in obedience and follow his instructions. He has humbled the ever-known powerful nations. America is humbled down. China is humbled down. Italy, England, and others. So that all these big nations, people come down in their homes to listen to God. Isaiah 26, verse 20, 21 says, When God comes to judge the earth, the guilty will find no place to hide. And now Jesus says that the hidden will be made known be because of his truth. Like a light shining in a darker corner will reveal it. Matthew chapter 10 verse 26 says nothing hidden will not be seen. Instead of trying to hide your shameful thoughts and actions from God, confess them. Confess them and turn to him and receive his forgiveness. Father, thank you for this comparisonly spiritual quarantine, for our goodness, so that you speak to us in our homes, so that you speak to us and help us to put right our relationships in our marriages, in our families, and help us to put right our relationship with you. Bless us and minister to us in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.